So I've had this AC500 with the B300S battery. I've got two of them here. I paid for this one out of my own pocket. I have had them for a while now. I've done a little bit of testing here and there. They work really well, but now I'm going to connect the 240 volt hub. They call this their fusion box. And it's gonna allow me to power my entire house up to 10,000 watts, easily capable of running most air conditioners and well pumps and anything 240 volt. Now I obviously need to get more batteries, but I'm not able to get more of those just yet. So hopefully I'll get more of those in the near future, but I wanna go through this real quick and just show you how you can take two AC 500 units and make 240 volt power. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so the first thing is you got to have two units. Second is you got to connect to the communications cable, which is the third port down here. And honestly, this is one of my first gripes is these caps and stuff just are not convenient. They're just kind of in the way, but either way it works. And that's all that truly matters. So I've got both of them here and then I've got my fusion box up here. This is the P030A and it has TT30 connectors here. Uh, on the main unit. So I've got those connected. I'm gonna go ahead and power on both of these units. Uh, my second gripe on these units is the power button. It's just a personal preference. You have to click and hold these for a couple of seconds to turn them on. And then to turn them off, you've got to hold it for like five or six seconds. So just be aware of that. Now, the next thing we need to do is put these into master and slave mode right after we connect these here. So this big port here, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the first one and then the second one. Now you're going to hear an alarm here in a second, and that's okay. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to the next page. And where it says machine type, it says single phase. I'm going to click that and move it to split phase. And then I'm going to select master. That's when the alarm will go off. And then I have to set this one to slave. So that one's master. And hear the alarm going off. Go to settings, next page, machine type, split phase slave okay those are now set and then in the manual it says to actually go clear the error so i can check this just by clicking split phase split phase slave good so i can go to home go to home go to alarms no alarms are listed alarms no alarms are listed so didn't have to clear them even though the beeping went off and just like that, we're good to go. All I gotta do is click AC on right here. I just heard the inverter click on. This will also switch to green as you can see that. And then now this is powered up. I went ahead and moved the fusion box down here so it's easier to see everything all together. See these green lights are on and you can actually see an outline here. So this is the left unit. So if I run anything off of these three outlets, it's gonna be running solely off of this. Then if I run anything on the right unit, it's going to be on these outlets here showing up over here. Just wanted to show in this video the setup. And then in another video, I'm going to show you actually doing the 240 volt right here connected to my interlock switch right here, which will then be able to run my entire house. So hopefully you found this helpful. Thank you. Be prepared. I will see you guys in the next video.